Blood Bowl. Yes, that's right, Jim. Another exciting encounter is about to get underway. Should be a classic, Bob. I spoke to the ref earlier on, and he says they'll be looking to keep a low profile. There really is a yawning gap between these two teams today. No contest. The supporters don't seem too worried. In fact, they're looking forward to the match. The players are ready. The ball is in his hands. Kick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. Every now and again, Blood Bowl throws up a real mixed bag of a team. Like the Motley Horn is made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast offs every day of the week. like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Did you hear about the Venus Man-Eaters, Bob? Oh, yes, Jim. I think everyone knows about Man-Eaters. Oh, I'm scared, Bob. So is everyone with proverbial coconuts. What Phoenix! What style! What perfection! What a hammer blow! Sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. Without his armor, that player could have been hurt. But it hurts. I can hear the scream. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. Ouch! Right in the face. The other guy couldn't dodge that one. It 
It's amazing that the Skaven are such good runners. It stands to reason. The slow ones get eaten in the junior leagues. Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Ah, uh, so they say. But it really only comes down to taking a few hits. can get their game going again. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident, when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. She sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. I think she's singing him a lullaby. The bench seems to be in two minds about what to do about the player lying prone on the pitch. Yeah, they don't know whether to send on a stretcher or a coffin. Boom! In the face! And then followed by a clean uppercut! Well done! That reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitman. Oh yeah! You kneecapped him! Hold still and then pow! Right in the face!
You know Head Splitter? Ah, uh, of course I know him. Well, he said he's going to be less fun. I'll believe that when I see it. Yeah, he said you'll finish off his opponents far quicker. Uh, the sport is going to the dogs. That'll do nicely. These exotic blood bowl players are fairly new to the game, Jim. Yes, Bob. They mesmerize me every time they enter the pitch. Ah, yeah, Jim. These illustrious Amazons sure have added some flavor to the game. Look at that. Whoa! Oh, wow! Ow! much of the heroes of law these days. I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the heroes of law hope to show the world a better way by <laughs> <a> strategic <laughs> way on the bench. Only a good thing you see. Right, 
hook was worthy of a black orc. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Strapping box and gives rather generously. Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Ah, no way. A little elf beauty? Yeah. are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with tripling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. Nice left punch, right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> to get started again. No doubt they've been busy in the changing room with the needle and thread. Some of those injuries needed a rivet gun. The players are ready. Is it true that most of the Amazon team's devoted fans consist of young men, Bob? Not at all, Jim. I've heard a large portion of their fan base consists of disgruntled homemakers and countless scores of former Bloodweiser babes. Aha! That would explain why the Amazon fans had their own fans themselves.
facelift punch. Right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More, more often. often. If I can get their game going again. Did you hear about the evil Gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. What recreation clobbering. Now, there's an acrobatic routine worthy of a gold medal. Yes, it's nice to see an uppercut followed by a double backflip. <laughs> More than limbs, Bob. More than limbs. Just look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision.
Yes, yes, Jim. Scantily dressed women that hit first and ask questions later. Yes, Bob. I just wish there were more women like that. Don't we all, Jim? Don't we all? <laughs> into the game rules. much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. She sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. Some amazing stats for a young up and coming Skaven player. Never misses a pass, apparently. Yeah, I watched him play. But when you've got eight arms. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. They can start to move forward. Nice flying pass, bravo! some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Today's 
insight comes from Jaime Schnivel, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survive. <laughs> Hoot Dini could help him escape this defeat. Here we go again for another bloodbath. Good hand skills. The ball is caught. Children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. Reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. To tackle. This player knows how to dodge and give free lessons. Interception! Has she got telescopic hands or what? Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League? A second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh, yes. They were great times. I remember fans who got into games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snap of a wizard's neck. Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. the ball like a letter in the post this player 
has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. Touchdown coming up. Let's go, guys. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit on signing. A great win. Fully deserved. They came out on top in every one-on-one -on -one duel. Not to mention the six-on-one. Win, lose, or draw. Doesn't really matter when you see a match like that. That's reflected in the excellent mark it received. If those big brutes have any intelligence, they'll learn from this defeat that sheer power is not always the key. True, true. If they concentrated more on getting the ball than getting the man, it would be a step in the right direction. A logical defeat for a team that was just not in the game. They couldn't get their hands on the ball, and that's what cost them the game. They defended high up, keeping the opposition to their half of the field. What? Not one player don't? Let me express just a teensy-weensy bit of surprise. Well, if it's true, it will definitely go down in the annals. Did you see a referee out there today? I don't know. I definitely did see any cards. 